Hey guys, Forex here. Hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is a Sega Master System cartridge. Uh, where do I start with this thing? Uh, have you ever had one of those late night browsing on eBay and you decide to buy something only for the following morning to look at it and go, why the hell did I buy that? And then when it finally arrives, you really regret buying it. Yeah, wait till you see inside this cartridge, guys. Okay, I have the back off the cartridge. It's just two game bit screws that you need to open. What I'm going to do now is whip the back off and they see it. Sorry for laughing at because I know what's coming. <laughs> what the f is that? If you, if you look, you can see it looks like someone's gone to war with sandpaper on this thing and it looks like the contacts were originally gold plated but they've gone right the way through to the copper which is never a good idea because now those copper contacts are going to tarnish so it just shows you a complete <laughs> this also what they, it looks like they've tried to do is remove the actual ROM, why you would do that, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> what gets me is they've done the first two pins okay. They've got to the third pin, lifted the pad, and they've probably gone, okay, I better be a bit more careful. Done the third one, the fourth one, okay. <laughs> lifted the pad and gone, oh. <laughs> done the next one, okay. <laughs> lifted the pad again and gone, oh. <laughs> and then they've got three in a row where they've gone, Oh, that one was okay. That one was okay. I'm getting the hang of this now. The next one, oh, perfect. And then the, the, <laughs> this one that lifted the pad again and gone, oh, oh, better stop now. You know, stopped after, what is it, four pads lifted? You know, common sense would tell you if you're doing two, if you lift two pads, you maybe want to check the temperature of your soldering iron. So, yeah, I'm going to have to see if I can fix this thing, guys. Um. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this board out, get it all set up and see if I can at least fix it. And if we take a look at the other side, you can see, same again, good old sandpaper, works every time. <laughs> morons. <laughs> okay, to see if I can try and fix this, what I want to do is just remove all the components. So I'm going to get rid of the mask rom, I'm going to get rid of the bypass cap and I'm going to get rid of these. Is that a resistor? No, it's a series probably capacitor. Why you got two capacitors? Well, anyway, I'm getting off track. Yeah, I'm going to remove this, this and this because I want to work on the PCB and I don't want the components on there while I'm working on it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just come in and remove all those components from my desoldering station. Okay, as you can see, the components are off. The actual mass one just fell off when I lifted the PCB up. It's always a good sign when it does that, you know, it's come straight out. What I need to take care of now is the actual contacts. Uh, where the idiot's gone along and sanded these things, he's actually taken the gold plating off. Uh, and he's, you, I don't know if you can see, you can just see copper underneath it now. Now, if I was to leave that, what would happen every time is that would tarnish and then when you put the game in the cartridge slot um, it's not going to make very good contact and you've got that, you're going to get that intermittent contact going on um, so what I need to do is replate these and I'm going to do that using solder and what that will do is it will put a thin layer of solder over the top of the contacts and that will uh, protect the copper underneath so that's what I'm going to do next okay you can see what I've done uh, I put a 
little bit of solder on these two end pins and I've just fluxed up the other contacts what I'm going to do with my soldering iron is I'm going to come along with my solder wick I'm going to put my soldering iron on the top and I'm just going to move along like this and what that will do is it will give it a thin coat of solder over the top so I'll get on with that and show you what it looks like when it's done okay as you can see I've finished putting a thin layer of solder over the top of those contacts um, it's the same technique you would use if you were removing a surface mount chip and you wanted to remove the excess solder before you put the new surface mount chip on you just you know you just flux the contacts up and you just get your desoldering blade and you just move up and down up and down up and down up and down and that will put a thin coat of solder on the contacts okay I'm just sitting here contemplating how I'm going to do this I've got a rough idea how I'm going to do it so, because the major problem I've got at the moment is you can see uh, some of the pins are actually missing on the mask rom so what I'm thinking of doing is taking some cane or wire uh, threading it through the hole where the through or went through or the pin of the chip obviously it's missing now and connecting it back up to these connections you can see them going up here like this and uh, yeah that should hopefully fix the mask one back on but first I need to scratch away those traces hopefully you can see what I've just done um, what I did was I just used my pick and I scraped away the trace next to the lifted pads and I've added uh, a little bit of solder to them uh, and what that will do is uh, when the chips in there I can poke the cano wire through and solder to those points and get those pins connected back up now what I need to do now is take care of the horrible mess where you can see the sandpaper has come along and it's taken away some of the solder mask so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reapply a protective coat over the top of that uh, and that's what I'm going to do next okay what I've done is I've just masked off the area using some captain tape and now I'm going to take some trusty nail varnish and just give it a light coat over the top and that should protect those bare copper traces yeah nail varnish it works guys <laughs> okay as you can see I've removed the captain tape that was masking off and it's left a nice neat bar of nail varnish that's covering those bare copper traces what I can do now is leave this for 15-20 minutes like that nail varnish harden I'll flip it over and do the other side as you can see I've finished putting the uh, nail varnish on there it looks a little bit neater now no bare copper traces showing um, I left it for half an hour just to harden on both sides uh, I give it two coats just to be on the safe side um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the components back on there um, I'm not going to film that guys, I'm just going to go ahead and do it and what I'll do is after I'll show you how I did it and what I did to uh, get it looking a lot better state than it was as you can see we're all soldered in I'll go through what I did um, I was quite lucky some of the legs were, of the mask run were actually still there um, what I did there was I took a little bit of a leg from an LED off cuts and I just made a short link or uh, you can see on this one just soldered to this leg that was on the mask rom and soldered to the part where I scraped away the solder mask and tinned up now some of the legs were missing so what I had to do was a bit more drastic I had to solder a gain a off cut of an LED leg uh, onto the actual chip you can just see there 
I went through the hole with the list, lifted pad, bent it over, and as you can see here, I soldered it to the part where I scraped away the solder mask uh, and uh, tinned it up. So yeah, that's all in there now. It's I've done a continuity check. Everything's okay. There's no shorts or anything like that so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a little bit of nail varnish again and just go over the top of those beer traces of those uh, legs that I used so uh, I'm just going to get on with that now okay as you can see all cleaned up I've added some nail varnish to those beer traces uh, what I'm going to do now is pop this back in its cartridge housing I'm going to pop it in the master system and see if it works. Okay, as you can see, I have my master system 2 set up. Um, I've left the cartridge outside the cartridge housing. That's just in case when I test it, it doesn't work. I don't have to take the case off again to, to look around and see what the problem is. So what I'm going to do, there's no game in there at the moment. So if I power on, it should boot Alex the Kid. Yep, that's the game built into the Master System 2. So what I'm going to do is power off. I'm going to come along and put the fixed Global Defense cartridge in. Power on, and hopefully it should boot that cartridge. And it does. So yeah, that's that fixed. Okay, what I can do now is put the cartridge housing back around the cart and I can finish this video off. Okay, cartridge is back in its housing, let's power on. And it should boot again, we already know it works. So yeah, there you go guys, another successful repair. Hope you liked the video. If you did like it, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.